remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A woman accused of slapping three Jewish women in Brooklyn was arrested on Saturday and charged with attempted assault as a hate crime and released without bail, only to be re-arrested less than 24 hours later for a similar crime. Police initially arrested Tiffany Harris, who is 30 years old, on Friday night after they say she slapped and assaulted three Orthodox women ages 22 to 31 in the face and head on a street corner in Brooklyn's Crown Heights area. According to a criminal complaint, Harris, who is black, admitted to attacking the women and spewing anti-Semitic slurs. Harris was quoted telling investigators at the time of her arrest, yes, I slapped them, I cursed them out, I said F you Jews. She was arraigned on a slew of misdemeanor charges and attempted assault as a hate crime, harassment and menacing on Saturday, after which she was released from jail without bail. On Sunday morning, Harris was arrested again this time for allegedly hitting a 35-year-old woman in the face, leaving the victim with a swollen and bruised right eye, this according to the police. They said earlier that she was arrested for attempted assault as a hate crime. Attempted assault. Wouldn't that just be assault? I mean, they're saying that she was arrested because she went upside their heads. How is that attempted assault? And also, how did she know that they were Jewish? Now, you can look at some of the guys. A lot of times you can tell, you know, that they're Jewish, you know, by, you know, their attire. But a lot of times the women, you can't just tell right off the bat. This reminds me of a time when I was in New York City walking on the sidewalk during rush hour. So you know how New York is midday. It's thousands of people walking on the sidewalks. So I'm trying to get to where I'm going and this black woman bumps me purposely. I'm walking and I see her walking my way. And keep in mind, it's crowded. So I'm walking like this way. She's coming in this direction. <laughs> she looks up at me, eyes me, and does this. Like, dude, put the shoulder on me. Put the lean in, like, bam. And uh, I stopped and turned around. And she was like, what? What? I was like, Keep in mind, too, family, this is not quite during my Cowboy Western days. This is me coming off the Cowboy Western days. So this is probably me around early 30s. Boy, I was like, boy, she lucky. If it had been like just a, a few years before, I caught myself. I was like, I stopped. I was like, she fucking crazy. I stopped. And I was like, and I just was like, <laughs> I laughed and I was like, man, this woman, this woman got to be crazy. You know, <laughs> she, she really don't know what she messing with. And so I just fell back and I let her make it. The woman probably was about, let me see. So I'm, I was 30 something at the time, early 30s. So she must have been probably 40s or something like that. But uh, man, I let them make it. There are some weirdos in New York City and they're all over New York. I mean, I, I wonder this, who got the most weirdos, New York or Florida? New York, Florida, New York, Florida. Ooh, man, it's hard to say. Probably Florida. It's gotta be Florida in any event. You know, this division thing has escalated ever since the orange man became president. 
I blame Trump. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?